any preacher whose emphasis is on things and not on him is a destitute of the truth and such people should not be smiled at so knowing god is not a meal ticket knowing god is not a meal ticket don't come to know god for food you can have food without knowing god knowing god is not a meal ticket anybody who is seeking to know god for food is bankrupt and he's destitute of the truth he has been deceived we know that godliness is after christ and he says it's not a means for gain godliness is not a means for gain the gain is the godliness we don't use god to get something mm -mm. we know god for god it's like i'm preaching opposite eh? it's like i'm preaching opposite of what is being preached right yes because what is being preached is use god and solve your problems that's not the gospel we don't use god to get things mm -mm. we come to god for him because you can get things without god the world has been designed in a way where out of god's benevolence out of god's generosity you don't need to know god to live in this world and you can live well live very well you can live very well private jets yachts some of the best moving machines you can have them have a vacation house in the bahamas somewhere in the island where you can fly with your jet chill and fly back without knowing god the world is so designed that in the jet you can even say there is no god and you won't have accident you will land safely is the poverty of the africanization of the gospel you didn't hear what i just said is the poverty of the africanization of the gospel we have used our societal standards to interpret the word of god so the word of god looks like it is only for poor people market people seeking for survival market women street boys drop out failures who want to survive but nobody to help them then they now come to god that's why billionaires who don't know god have concluded because of the misrepresentation of god that god only exists in the figment of the imagination of the poor that since a man has failed in attaining the basic necessities of life and he cannot find his way around so he has created a god inside his mind that he is crying to for help it is a misrepresentation of the gospel that gives people that conclusion god is not a means to an end you don't need god for things you need god for god you need god for god so that's why brother paul now tells timothy godliness with contentment is great gain that the contentment that a man should have is that he has seen god in christ that understanding is our great gain 
That understanding is our great gain. So the revelation of God in Christ disabuses a man's mind from seeing that serving God is a means to acquire things. Serving God is a means to acquire things. Once you see God in Christ, your mind is disabused of that notion. Once you can see God in Christ, you know that God is of more value than things. God is what? <laughs> you know, it's like I know somebody in government, somebody very, very powerful in the government of Nigeria today, very close to the presidency, who has ability to influence the president. I know such a man then a member of this church comes to me and says papa they have posted me for nysc to borono state do you know anybody in government that can influence the posting so that instead of going to borono state i can be brought to a quiet bomb because i don't want to go to flanny headsman then me now i will now go to this powerful guy who can influence the president to ask him for posting of NYSE? It's an insult on his status. Such a man, if I want to capitalize on our relationship, I should be asking him for an oil well to be allocated to me. I shouldn't be asking NYSE. I can go to NYSE my office myself, Abel Damina. As I walk in and I say, I am Abel Damina. I need help. They will help me. I, I, I don't need to use a powerful connection to be looking for NYC posting. God is higher than things. So instead of approaching God for things, approach God for him. When you have him, his presence in you causes things to obey you. If I'm communicating, shout, I hear you. That's what I've been talking about. Knowing God is the ultimate. Brother Paul will put it like this. If any man glory, let him glory in this, that he knows God. So, Brother Paul separates the acquisition of things from the revelation of God. He separates them. He has not said to acquire things is bad. He has not said to acquire material things is a sin. Mm -mm. What he has said is that our contentment is when we view God in a man. What's the name of that man? Christ. Christ. 